Hello friends, in this tutorial we will study the binary search tree data structure. We will also study how to design the binary search tree as well as through the simulator we will study how to design the binary search tree with the help of the visualization technique. Now we will see what are different steps to design a binary search tree. It is just three lines algorithm. The first step is to take the first element from the given list of elements and make that element as the root node of the tree. Second step is take the next element from the given list of elements and now compare that element with the root node. If you find that element is less than the root node then we place that element in the left subtree otherwise we will play, place that element in the right subtree we repeat step number two till the last element is considered we will now see the example how to create a binary search tree for given list of elements a problem may be asked in your examination for 5 to 10 marks like this. Create the binary search tree using the following data elements. The data elements given to you are 30, 20, 40, 50, 10, 75, 85, 5, 15, 25 and 45. This is the binary tree search tree visualizer program which allows us to visualize how the elements are being inserted into the binary search tree or how binary search tree is designed so we'll insert all the elements given to us one by one with the help of this insert button there is a text box here we can mention the value from the given list and we can click on insert button to insert that particular node into the binary search tree there is one more option available here on the top that is speed of move so whenever you insert any element into the binary search tree so we can decide the speed of inserting it we can decrease the speed so that we can understand the animation in a better way so i'll keep it low so the first element that coming in the list is 30 so i will first insert 30 and click on insert button to insert it so it will draw 30 and insert it so this is the first node in the list so we consider this node as the root node of this binary search tree now we insert the next element that is 20 click on insert when you click on insert it will first compare 20 with no root node 30 and we found that it is less than 30 so it is placed to the left hand side of 30 so it is placed in left subtree now the next coming element is 40 click insert we will now compare 40 with 30 we found that it is greater than root node so it has to be placed into the right subtree so it becomes the right child of node 30 here next element coming is 50 click insert button to insert 50 here 50 is greater than 30 it is also greater than 40 that's why it is placed into the right subtree of node 40 the next element to be inserted is 10 click insert we compare it with the root node 30 it is less than 30 it is also less than node 20 so it, it is placed in the left subtree of node 20 now we will we will insert 75 it is greater than 30 it is also greater than 40 it is also greater than 50 so it is placed into the right subtree of node 50 the next element coming is 85 click insert we will compare it with the root node we found that it is greater than 30 40 50 as well as it is also greater than 75 so it becomes the right part of node 75 
the next element to be inserted is 5 click insert it is less than 30 less than 20 less than 10 so it is inserted in the left subtree of node 10 the next element coming is 15 insert 15 less than 30 less than 20 but it is greater than node 10 so it is placed into the right subtree of node 10 here then the next coming element is 25 insert less than 30 goes to the left subtree but greater than 20 it goes to the right subtree of node 20 so it is placed here to the right subtree of node 20 the next coming element is 45 try to insert it we found that it is greater than 30 greater than 40 but less than 50 so it is placed in the left subtree of node 50 so this is our last element to be inserted into the binary search tree it means that the last element is considered so this is the final binary search tree for the given list of element to us now there are different operations that we can do with the help of this visualizer program suppose i want to find 45 that was the last element given in the in, given in our list which actually takes more amount of time if we perform linear search so there are how many elements here there are 11 elements given in the list so it needs 11 comparisons after 11 comparisons we will get the result but now we'll see how binary search will help us to find this number within very few comparisons so i will put 45 to search into this binary search tree click on find button so this program will show us the number of comparisons required to search 45 click find we compare with the root node we found that it is greater than 30 greater than 40 but less than 50 so it, here it is so after third comparison in fourth comparison we got 45 we got 45 within four comparisons so definitely it saves half amount of time to search that particular element using binary search tree method now we will see what are different advantages of binary search tree the first advantage is it is very efficient search because we get a hint at each and every step about which subtree contains the desired element the second advantage is the binary search tree is considered as efficient data structure as compared to arrays and linked list or linear data structure you can say in searching process it removes half subtree at every step searching for an element in binary search tree takes o of log n time in the worst case the time it takes to search an element is o of n third advantage is it also speed up the insertion and deletion operation as compared to that in arrays and linked list thank you very much for watching the video